so basically when I meet up some people in and around they're like you're too young to have a startup and all that stuff and they're simply like they don't want to collaborate so like I had a question like how to find innovative people and establish collaboration for my startup and how to find like people in and around like some innovators around so that I can have a good startup funding and all that stuff so that was my basic goal because finding collaborating with people around is really difficult sure I, I will give some I mean very recent uh, uh, tried uh, uh, approach and I mean again I'm not sure if it is uh, expensive on your side or not but uh, I have a friend who was planning to establish a startup in Europe and he's from the Middle East and actually he was trying to uh, uh, to find in the right partner and even the right place to establish uh, over there but internet I mean the the search thing was not that helpful to him. So he, he I mean he got an idea and he implemented it and it resulted in in, in a very good uh, thing. He posted uh, on LinkedIn jobs that he is looking for a partner in this country. So he used the LinkedIn I mean again this is an example of uh, the untraditional way of using the traditional things we have and uh, on the internet so uh, the jobs and LinkedIn is for jobs but he was hiring a partner actually uh, through LinkedIn and uh, I mean instead of getting zero uh, uh, I mean feedback or re responses from many he tried to approach through connections he got around uh, 17 to 18 resumes for people who would love to jump in as partners in his startup in that country that he wants to use uh, so uh, again this is a kind of a, an extreme example of how can you reach into partners in other countries but within your country mainly you will be looking to, uh, into that through the competitions local competitions running in your country uh, the uh, innovation roadshows technology roadshows uh, R&D centers academia uh, this is one of the best places where you can find uh, very high technical people who can really help and support you. Uh, some of the industrial organizations you have. Uh, uh, so I think you need to have to, to maintain a solid network of, uh, uh, of connections that can help you identify uh, really innovators. Uh, academia and the competitions is one of the best places to search for locally. Absolutely. Um, I agree with a lot of what Ahmed said. You know, um, there are two, more tools available today for you to extend your network beyond just your circle or your university or your country. Um, so that was a creative example of how someone used LinkedIn. There's actually many, just like Crowdicity has a, has a platform, there's also a network called Make Sense where people would, it's sort of like virtual hackathons that goes on. People come in and say, I'm interested, I'm doing this. And people who are interested in that get on together and sort of do a virtual hackathon together. Uh, joining hackathons in your country, for example, or networking opportunities. Uh, these are all different ways you can actually meet different people. But I think there's several different parts to your question, though, Bertol, because your question was more to deal with how can I find innovative people? Uh, it's not just how can I find my team, right? Because when you're finding your team, there are many different skill sets that are involved. You still need someone who is detail-oriented, who can do your accounting, your books. You need someone who is uh, good at sales. You need some someone. But when you talk about innovative people and you're talking about sort of co-creating the ideas behind your solutions and your tools, then I would say actually go up, think out of the box. You have to break down the silos so when you tend to go to hackathons or certain areas, you only meet the same kind of people. And innovation does not happen that way. It's not a group of scientists together who's going to innovate. But when you get a group of scientists together with a group of artists and poets, and you look at someone like Leonardo da Vinci, greatest artist and greatest scientist, you know. Um, so when I answer your question specifically on innovative people, I would say, Go out of your, those circles and meet people from different disciplines and talk to people in different disciplines. And I think you had a, also a part in your question where you kind of wanted to know about finding out what innovation is and how maybe, you know, uh, 
innovation has got to do with how people different perspectives and one of the key things for yourself i think you might even want to look at yourself and say am i an innovative person who can attract innovative people and the key part again will come back to listening skills humility willingness to learn having an open mind and then you will start meeting amazing people